Hello, this is Deborah with Black Education TV. First of all, I would like to thank Sister Eva for sharing this video with me. Um, it brought forth a lot of emotions. It brought forth tears because what we are seeing in the video, in which I'm going to share the video with you as well, is an explanation of what happened to us as a people and how we ended up here in America and various areas around the world. I'm so grateful that she shared this video because it shared, it shed some light on some things. And there are things taking place in these last days that were spoken of in scripture in which this video was going to highlight some of those things. So again, Sister Eva, I thank you for sharing that video with me on this Shabbat day. It was a pleasure to see this. And as stated before, um, it actually answers some questions um, that we have all seen um, or we've all wondered about, should I say, as to how we got here. It definitely answers some questions, in which many of us already knew, but it kind of um, seals, it, seals the truth that much more, um, seeing the explanation provided and the apology given by our people over in Ghana, Africa. That's what this video is about, so I'm going to share that with you. Very powerful, very touching, and very moving. I see prophecy unfolding so quickly around us. The truth is coming forth so fast. The Most Highest people are waking up worldwide, Todaya. I thank Him for giving us the White It Out series that we started many years ago. And it is through the White It Out series that we have been in contact with so many people. So many people have awakened to the truth through the White It Out series, and we are grateful for that. Um, we've been contacted from people all around the world, from Africa, from South America, from Canada, from um, Europe, from Switzerland, from South Korea. Just people all around the world have been in touch with this ministry, from China, from the UK. I'm, I'm just telling you some of the various places where people have reached out to us. Um, we've had people from Australia. I mean, I can't even begin to name the various places of where people who have reached out to us directly. Some have even visited us um, at various events. And we thank the Most High because of the truth that is going forth like a flood, that we are seeing prophecy being fulfilled in this last day. And this video is, to te is a testament of that truth. We thank the Most High for that. We thank Him for that. We even had someone from Africa reach out to us some time ago and say that if we ever needed to come to Africa, that we can dwell with them in their village. And... It was even an honor just to hear those words or just to receive such a message from our brothers and sisters in Africa. And trust me, it is definitely in our hearts and our minds as a family to want to do that. I mean, we would definitely do something like that if the Most High were to make a way. Um, another sister in Africa, uh, Sister Alice, um, I, I can't remember how to pronounce your last name. But um, even with you and your family reaching out to us, we had another family reach out to us. They are members of the Bimaliki tribe. We are so, so grateful to the Most High. And I want to share this video with you now. And for me, it brought forth a lot of emotions. It brought forth tears. And so I can imagine for some of you, it may affect you in that way as well. But it's very powerful in the things that are being stated. And... Is very heartfelt indeed, because that's where it touched me in my heart. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end what I'm going to say and show the video to you. And I want you all to enjoy the rest of your day. And know that uh, Sister Deborah loves you. And Shabbat Shalom. We are very privileged to be with you, particularly our brothers and sisters from the Caribbeans. And the diaspora and the people from all over Africa our brothers and sisters from all over Africa I 
wish at this point to particularly to apologize deeply on behalf of the chiefs and people of Gold Coast and Ghana for the atrocities, the cruelty, the inhuman treatment that were committed 400 years ago by my ancestors during the Atlantic slave trade. Where over 400 years ago, millions of our brothers and sisters were captured, sold, and transported under inhumane and cruel circumstances through Elmina Castle across to the Caribbean and to the New World. On behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, I do render unqualified apology deep from the bottom of our hearts. Deep from our bottom of our hearts. But one thing that I want you to be aware of, it was not without resistance. Some of our chiefs did fought and resisted. Some of our people did fought and resisted. But we are fighting a losing battle against a stronger army. People with guns, and we had no guns. They deceived us with liquor and all other temptations. Whatever the circumstances that led us to us, we stand here to render apology. And it's my wish and prayer that this apology is accepted. It's accepted. By our brothers and sisters from the diaspora. May the blood of Jesus assist us to overcome that evil that never again, never again should we witness Amen. this cruelty, this inhuman cruelty of man to man in this country. I thank you. And once again, on behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, we do render this apology. And I ask my colleague to add a few words to what I have said to you. And it's my wish and prayer that in the name of the blood of Jesus, you do accept our apology. Thank you very much. We stand here once again symbolically at the gate of no return. We stand here as husband and wife. We stand here as the African male and as the African woman, the African family, the African community, the representatives of an African nation and a diaspora. We have come to say that we've heard your words. We have discerned through our experience and through our journey that what the devil meant for evil, God meant for good. Through all our trials, through all our tribulations, God has a plan. That plan involves us standing together, us once again loving, us once again being brothers and sisters, us once again embracing. Put your arms around somebody. And let them know and feel the love of God. Even as we stand at the door of no return, we are here. We are here by the grace of God. We are here by the grace of God. Never to return again to the atrocities that have been experienced in this place. We accept with love. We accept with joy your apology. And we stand with you, rising 
together. In Jesus' name, amen. I looked out yesterday and I saw the poverty and I said, surely God, there must be a curse. The, the slaves would have cursed this place. And there must be a curse from just what happened here. But this is the beginning of liberty and freedom for your town and your area for what you have done today, that what we have witnessed. Those devils are silenced today. No more. It will never happen again because God is the Lord that let us all, all of us stand here today to receive with humility, to receive your apology. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for my people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.